the Middle Kingdom reached its peak under Amuniva III, 1842 to 1797 BC. Its decline began under Amenhotep IV, 1798 to 1790 BC, and continued under his sister and regent, Queen Sobaneferu, 1789 to 1786 BC, who was the first confirmed female ruler of Egypt and the last ruler of the 12th dynasty. Second Intermediate Period, circa 1786 to 1567 BC. The 13th dynasty marked the beginning of another unsettled period in Egyptian history, during which a rapid succession of kings failed to consolidate power. As a consequence, during the Second Intermediate Period Egypt was divided into several spheres of influence. The official royal court and seat of government was relocated to Thebes, while a rival dynasty, the 14th, centered on the city of Zoys in the Nile Delta, seems to have existed at the same time as the 13th. Around 1650 BC, a line of foreign rulers known as the Hyksos took advantage of Egypt's instability to take control. The Hyksos rulers of the 15th dynasty adopted and continued many of the existing Egyptian traditions in government as well as culture. They ruled concurrently with the line of native Theban rulers of the 17th dynasty, who retained control over most of southern Egypt despite having to pay taxes to the Hyksos. The 16th dynasty is variously believed to be Theban or Hyksos rulers, conflict eventually flared between the two groups, and the Thebans launched a war against the Hyksos around 1570 BC, driving them out of Egypt. New Kingdom, circa 1567 to 1085 BC. Under Ramos I, the first king of the 18th dynasty, Egypt was once again reunited. During the 18th dynasty, Egypt restored its control over Nubia and began military campaigns in Palestine, clashing with other powers in the areas such as the Medanians and the Hittites. The country went on to establish the world's first great empire, stretching from Nubia to the Euphrates River in Asia. In addition to powerful kings such as Amenhotep I, 1546-1526 BC, Thutmose I, 1525-1512 BC, and Amenhotep III, 1417-1379 BC, the New Kingdom was notable for the role of royal women such as Queen Hatshepsut, 1503-1482 BC, who began ruling as a regent for her young stepson, he later became Thutmose III, Egypt's greatest military hero, but rose to wield all the powers of a pharaoh. The controversial Amenhotep IV, circa 1379-1362, of the late 18th dynasty, undertook a religious revolution, disbanding the priesthoods dedicated to Amon-Ri, a combination of the local Theban god Amon and the sun god Ri, and forcing the exclusive worship of another sun god, Aten. Renaming himself Akhenaten, servant of the Aten, he built a new capital in Middle Egypt called Akhenaten, known later as Amarna. Upon Akhenaten's death, the capital returned to Thebes and Egyptians returned to worshipping a multitude of gods. The 19th and 20th dynasties, known as the Ramiz side period, for the line of kings named Ramses, saw the restoration of the weakened Egyptian empire and an impressive amount of building, including great temples and cities. According to biblical chronology, the exodus of Moses and the Israelites from Egypt possibly occurred during the reign of Ramses II, 1304 to 1237 BC. All of the New Kingdom rulers, with the exception of Akhenaten, were laid to rest in deep, rock-cut tombs, not pyramids, in the Valley of the Kings, a burial site on the west bank of the Nile opposite Thebes. Most of them were raided and destroyed, with the exception of the tomb and treasure of Tutankhamun, circa 1361-1352 BC, discovered largely intact in AD 1922.